So I introduced the puppies to um, food dispensing toys just yesterday. They're getting the hang of it. I think, let me see if I can zoom in. Two cans, pretty good. He's figuring it out. All right, here we go. Falcon's getting good at it too. So there's kibble inside there. They have to work a little harder to roll them around to get the pieces to fall out. The blue one, there's a smaller blue one there. Um, they've already emptied it. That one I have set so it falls out easier. These green ones you gotta work at, but I love these balls because they float and they bounce, they're soft, so they don't clank around um, kennels if you do this inside their kennel. And they can chew on them, you can play fetch. There they go. And um, so I love them for puppies to keep them entertained a little bit longer while they work for some food. You guys are thirsty now. Let's zoom out. It's hard to see when they're kind of like all in the pen. <clears throat> you can get these uh, Amazon Chewy are probably the cheapest places to get them, but PetSmart, Petco sell them too. They'll just pay more for them. But they're fabulous because they float, they bounce, they're easy to clean, dispense food. And you can cut out these little knobs here. Uh, so if you have big kibbles, I had to cut, cut a few of these little pieces. So you can see that. So, there you go. These little knobs here, you cut, you cut them out. And you can cut one or two, or there's four of them in there on, on either side. So I just cut a couple on one side because their kibbles weren't falling out. And they were getting frustrated and giving up. Yeah. <laughs> Who's talking? Toucan. You got a lot to say. You got a lot to say. I know you do. You're not usually so talkative. Um, but yeah, you can you can change them. So if you have really small kibble, a lot would fall out if you cut these holes. But if you have big kibble, you're gonna have to cut some of those pieces. Toucan loves this game, and he's really good at it. He stays focused on it. Some of the puppies get frustrated and give up because the food's not coming out. Oh, hello, easy enough. Hello, Falcon. Hi, I see you. You want to come out and play again? You are already out. You're supposed to be playing with the toys. And then we've got little rope toys hung up so they can play tug of war. Um, even if the other puppies don't want to play, I like to build um, tug drive kind of early. And there's Bill again. I know, y'all just got all wet in the water. And we've got Penguin right there. Oh, Flamingo. Hi, babies. I know. I, I will give you more water, but not for a while. They're starting to want to play in the water. I think you're going to be water dogs. <laughs> that one's buzzard. He's getting it. Yeah, okay. I was just doing a quick little video. And then we changed your setup and we put taller pins because y'all were figuring out how to get out. That's new today. Y'all were getting too big and too smart. There's another little tug toy in the corner there. Hello, Penguin. I know, I know. Penguin, you're so patient. Although you were sneaking out of the pen as soon as I opened the door. What are you doing, Flamingo? There she goes. I mean, that's just a simple carabiner with a, you know, rope toy. Nothing fancy, but it does entertain them. And we build tug drives. So if you like to use that for rewarding, it's nice to do. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, that bungee cord is also interesting. We're trying to keep y'all in this side. That's really not one of the toys. You're going to make me move it, aren't you? Flamingo. <clears throat> What's going on? Oh, I see Penguin's got the ball now. One of them. There's two in here. 
He's working it. I think he found some food that dropped down. You going over there? We have these little balance discs in there also to um, get the puppies used to unstable surfaces and so they're not scared when something uh, moves underneath their feet. We have other ones um, in their outdoor play area that they love to jump on. Flamingo, are you still working on that? You're still working on that. You're not supposed to do that. There's other tug toys. I know it's hard for you to differentiate the difference. And now you're all over here. I'm going to have to do this one. Y'all aren't watching. Look at that. I just gave you a suggestion to chew on it. I had a feeling we weren't going to be able to keep that there. Yeah, naughty puppies. Naughty puppies. They're almost eight weeks old, so they're, they're starting to get rowdier. Yes, you are. working on that one. Yeah, you can see Toucan still at it. <clears throat> he doesn't get frustrated as easily and he's figured that puzzle out. Penguin's learning. They also have to be hungry, so these guys, you just might not be that hungry to care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Buzzard's still going at it. Yeah, I think that one's empty. No pelicans thinking about it. You get it, parrot. You get it. Get it, get it. Oh my god. They're over there using the potty. That's a good boy. That was penguin. Get it, parrot. Get it. Flamingo's over here playing with the blue ball now. I see you, Falcon. Hey, little Pelican. He's so cute. He's so cute. We hear a lot of banging in this room because these guys are playing with these things. 